CentOS is awesome. And I can't believe we're this far along in our journey through CentOS. I guess time is flying when you're having fun, and I definitely have a lot of fun in creating tutorials and content for you guys. Now, so far through the series, I have shown you how to do all kinds of things. Use the sudo command, for example, add and remove groups, and some other stuff too. But one thing I haven't done is show you guys how to add and remove users. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. In addition, I'm also going to show you how to switch between users. Now, in a previous video, I showed you that you can do cat and then Etsy group. And you can get a list of all the groups on your system. Now, another thing that you can do is also cat the contents of a file, but in this case, we're going to do pass wd. That will actually give you a list of users. Now, I'm not going to go over the contents of this file in this video, but the takeaway is that the first column, and there's several columns here, is actually the username, and we have a bunch. Now, there's a lot of system users that are created when you have various packages installed on your system. These all came default except for the last one. This is my user right here. We have a UID or user ID of 1,000 for that user, and that user's primary group is of GID 1,000. And we go ahead and bring that other command back. We can see the group with the group ID of 1,000 right here. So let's go ahead and add a new user to this system. And to do so, that's really easy. We just do sudo add user and then the user that we want to add. In a previous video, when we were going over groups, I created the group heroes. So I'm going to create the Batman. I'll press enter. And since I used sudo, I need to prove that I am able to add a user here. So I'll go ahead and type in my password. And well, it certainly doesn't seem like it failed. So let's see what has actually changed on our system. So if we cat Etsy password, password is abbreviated. Well, we have the Batman. The Batman is on our system. How awesome is that? And how awesome will it be to see the Batman listed on the login screen? I'm excited. Well, in all seriousness, the user was created just like we expected it to be. It was assigned the next available GID, and its default group was assigned the next available GID, which we can verify by running this command again. So now we know how to create a user, and we also know that when we do so, it's by default going to create a group with that same name. Now also, if I list the contents of the home directory, we can see that the Batman has his own home directory on our system. Now honestly, I should have changed the defaults so that the home directory would have been the Batcave, but I'm not gonna go too deep into that example. Now we can also do groups, the Batman, to see what groups Batman is a member of. And here we can also see that the Batman isn't able to use sudo, he's not a member of the wheel group, and he's not even a member of the heroes group either. So let's go ahead and add the Batman to the heroes group that we created in a previous video. So sudo user mod dash A capital G, Heroes is the group we want to add a user to, and the user we want to add is, of course, the Batman. And now, if I go ahead and bring him up here, we can see that he is indeed a member of that group. And similarly, if I wanted to add him to the wheel group as well, to be able to use sudo, I can do that. And we have those new changes already there. So the next time the Batman logs into our system, he will have the wheel and heroes groups applied. Now, one thing is though that the Batman really won't be able to log in by default. It's often the case that if there's no password, you can't log in. That's especially true with SSH. We haven't gone into SSH just yet, but we also need to know how to set a password as well. Now the passwd command allows us to set a password. If we press enter with no options whatsoever, 
it's going to default to allowing us to change the password for the user we are currently logged in with. So I'll put in my current password here, and then I'll type in my new password. So I guess now you know how to change your password. There, I changed my password. But what we need to do for the Batman is execute this command right here. We can use the passwd command to change the password for a different user. But of course, we're only allowed to change the password for our own user, not for a different user. But if we use sudo, well, then there's nothing stopping us, is there? So I'll go ahead and do that. And if you run passwd as root or with sudo, you are not asked for the current password. You don't need to prove yourself that you are allowed to change the password of another user if you have access to sudo or root, because of course root can do everything. So I'll type the new password right here. And right away it's complaining that the password that I used is too simple. This is just a tutorial, so I don't really care. It's still going to accept it because I used sudo. So I'll just go ahead and put that in again. It's just giving me a warning, basically. And we have a confirmation that we were able to change the password for the Batman. Now I'm going to go ahead and create another user. Because you know, the Batman needs an enemy. So I'll go ahead and press enter. And now we have the user, the Joker. Now I'm going to show you how to actually get rid of a user or how to delete a user. Now I'm going to do this as the Batman. So first I'm going to show you how to switch to a different user and to do that you do su space hyphen space and then the user account you want to change into. I'll press enter. I need to enter in the password for that user which I just created. And now I am logged in as the Batman. So to delete a user, you could do sudo because you do need root privileges. User del, user delete basically. And then the name of the user we want to get rid of, in this case, the Joker. And we have to enter in the password. I'll do that now. And we did remove the user. We can see the Joker is not on the list of users. The Batman has successfully defeated the Joker. But here's what's interesting. If I do ls-l against home, the Joker still has a directory in slash home. Now notice the owning user and the owning group are 1002, which was formerly the UID and GID of the Joker. We did remove the account, but by default, the home directory is not deleted. So we were able to get rid of the Joker, but maybe we need the Joker's stuff because we wanna go through maybe some evidence or his files or whatever, just in case we need them to solve a crime. Well, in all seriousness, the reason why this is the case is because when an employee leaves a company, for example, you might want to get rid of the access by that user, but most of the time companies have retention requirements which mandate that the files are such that you need to hang on to for some time. But if you do want to get rid of the files as well, the command would have looked like this. Dash R for recursive, that will get rid of the home directory as well. So now you know how to create and delete users on your CentOS system. Go ahead and practice that, create some users, change group permissions and things like that. And then I will see you in the next video as soon as I have that uploaded. Thanks for watching.